Hey guys, I want to invite you to watch this mastermind we just did with our team and with our e-commerce clients where we show how to increase the average order value, the return on ad spend and profit in these e-commerce stores, show you things like the landing page, the email automation, we talk about affiliates, reviews, upsells, add-ons, all those cool things. And if you guys are new to my channel, comment new and I'll send you this full guide that we'll review today. This full guide just breaks down every single flow in the e-commerce funnel that you can implement into your business. All right, let's dive into the masterclass. Hey, how's it going team? Thank you all for hopping on today. I'm excited for this, uh, this mastermind with you all. A lot of you are six figure to seven figure e-commerce store owners. And a lot of you have helped you with build your website. So thank you for giving me that opportunity. You all know me, uh, Brad Smith, and I've been doing this e-commerce stuff and website stuff for like eight years. Something really cool, I just got my silver plaque from YouTube, so I'll keep making these mastermind videos, joining, having you guys join me on Zoom, and then I'll um, upload them to YouTube so you can go back and watch it. If you have anyone that has a store, feel free to refer them to these, these videos, but I just wanted to give back to you guys um, for supporting me and just walk you through some things I'm seeing in the e-commerce world that's working, and I think most importantly, what happens after somebody comes to your website the first time? So I'll be sharing my screen here and you guys will be able to see that I'll be re reviewing this funnel, this full funnel here. And also I'll be giving you guys this guide here on this page where you can come back and just go through each step. Now we start with the website usually, but you all already have websites and um, hopefully you're on Shopify, but that's usually the software, the platform that I recommend just because of all the functionality, the apps, the plugins, and even SEO now, they're doing really good with SEO. So, But what we wanna talk about is what happens after the website, right? We all know that the average website converts less than 1%. Um, if you only have your website, which most of you have the landing page too that we'll be chatting about today, the landing page helps you increase those conversions, build relationships with your clients, and um, allows you to follow up with them without just relying on retargeting ads. That's really the key. We want organic follow-up. We want organic retargeting, organic ways to stay in touch with our contacts so we don't have to rely only on retargeting ads. Now, of course, retargeting ads down here are super important, uh, but you don't need to spend a lot if you do the rest of this automation. Uh, and that's what I want to share with you is this automation can help you scale your ROAS, your return on ad spend, help you increase your average order. You can see this this example site that we worked on, they have a really low average order value, just 2847, but their ROAS is over a 10. So that's really important is, hey, whatever your AOV is, you really need to keep that ROAS up. And if you have a low cost product for 2847, you're never gonna have a good ROAS if you don't have the automation set up. And it's even better if you have a higher AOV. So what I wanna walk through is, hopefully you have your marketing dialed in. We'll do an, our next mastermind on the marketing. Um, but today's mastermind is gonna be about what happens after somebody comes to your landing page and visits your website. So really the key is this landing page. What do we wanna offer? And if you guys don't already have this, um, if I've done the website for you, you already have the landing page, but we wanna give a coupon code. A coupon code to get them to give you their email. So this is what we'll cover here in step two. So we wanna get their email somehow. So give them a great coupon code, give them a reason to sign up, and you can even lose money on that first customer on that coupon code. We work with somebody that sells coffee and they basically give them the coffee at cost just to get them on the email list so they can start building that relationship and get that return customer. So you wanna make it super valuable. You wanna throw a video on there if you can, a personal style video, so they can start to hear your founder's story, learn more about you, who the owner is, why your product's better than the rest. And that just helps build a relationship because most likely your competitors won't have a video. You wanna have really good images on there of your product, show that product off, show how awesome it is. Make me wanna get that coupon code even if I'm not ready to use it today. That's another thing. A lot of people might grab the coupon code today, but they won't use it until next week or next month or when they're ready or when you remind them, right, with the automation. So the goal of the landing page is to get their email so we can follow up. From there, we want to definitely add them to email automation. Now, if you all are on Shopify, I always suggest using Clavio or Clavio, however you want to pronounce it. 
and um, start segmenting those lists, set up the automation so we can follow up with them. And of course, do some A-B testing on your abandoned carts and the follow-up after they come in through the landing page. Really key. But what we wanna do is as soon as they subscribe to your landing page or even the newsletter on your website, and if you use pop-ups, I don't love pop-ups anymore, um, you can use newsletter forms um, throughout your homepage and even up at the top a banner of your Shopify site for the coupon code. So usually we put right up at the top the banner, get 10% off, click here, they click here, then the pop-up opens and they can subscribe for the coupon code. And this first email I think is, besides the landing page, super important. We want to ask them to follow you on social media. Why? So then you don't have to run these retargeting ads as much. You don't have to spend as much. So now if they've come to your landing page, and we want to assume all these people are first time visitors. They've never heard of you. They have no relationship with your brand. They don't even know if they trust you yet. And they could go to your competitors. Maybe they're just price shopping. They might even go to Amazon to buy it if, if your competitors are on Amazon. So e-commerce, you have to build a relationship just like B2B. Why should they buy from you? remind them to buy from you show them that they're joining your community your brand your tribe whatever so they want to keep buying from you and that's where this first email comes in thank you so much for signing up here's your coupon code and by the way follow us on instagram where we show really cool product examples and people like you using our products something like that goes a long way once they follow you on social media and by the way have them follow you on your most active social media where are you the most active at that's what you want to do. If you're the most active on Facebook, send them there. Instagram, send them there, wherever. Because you want to be consistent. So now what we want them to see is your social media post. And then your retargeting ads. And then your emails. So if somebody's seeing you in three different places, they start feeling like they know you. You look like a celebrity online. I know a lot of you have come back to me and said, Hey, my friends and family, they think I'm a celebrity online or my new customers are like, I see you everywhere. Yeah, because you're seeing me in the email. You're seeing me on social media. You're seeing me in the retargeting ads, the Google, the YouTube ads. That's really key. When somebody sees your brand as an authority, they're more likely to buy from you. And now what you want to do with these emails is keep following up. First one, follow me on social media. Here's the coupon code. Email number two, how can we help? Do you have any questions about the product? FAQs, frequently asked questions. Education, this is really key because you don't want to be the e-commerce store that's only selling. You want to be educating. So what are some educational things you can educate your audience, your new visitors on about your product or about the type of product you sell? Do you sell lights? Why are your lights better? Do you sell gym equipment? Why is your gym equipment better? You know, whatever you sell, why is it better? Educate them. Don't sell it. Don't give them a, another coupon code. You already gave them a coupon code. Don't do a salesy email. Education. Wow, this company is educating me. This brand is helping me. They're giving me more information. From there, then you want to allow them to either come back to your site and watch a video. You want them to um, remind them to get a coupon code. Maybe join your Facebook group. Uh, maybe read a blog. Right? You can send them to many different things to come back to your site. Really key there. So if you guys have any other questions about email marketing, um, hopefully you all have that website already built. Uh, and if you guys have any recommendations, we're, we build Shopify websites for um, and landing pages with them for a lot of e-commerce stores. So send them our way. That'd be awesome. And the email marketing, we always integrate and connect with that. You all already have this set up. We've set this up for you. Um, the segments, go back and look at those segments that we set up for you and your AB testing and start testing out some different messages. Maybe you see some emails that do well, duplicate on those, but usually a personal style email asking a question from somebody that hasn't opened maybe the last one or two emails from you can get them to come back and engage really key. All right. Now it comes into abandoned cart. So, uh, we know they're going to see the, after the landing page. We can either send them to the website or a sales page. Then we want to get them to the cart, right? We want to upsell them um, on the cart. So if you guys, hopefully you have your subscriptions still enabled on your store where people can subscribe or the add-on products where they can do add-on products. Remember, we use Rebuy, the app for that, where you can use 
the upsells, the add-ons, the recommended products during the cart process, really key there. And if they don't, we need to get them to come back and we can do that by automated emails. I just bought some sunglasses from a company called Gooder. Really cool. And these are the example abandoned cart text messages they sent me. Now, of course, we need the abandoned cart emails, but the personal texts after are really key. So here's some things. We don't bite hard. Come back and complete your checkout before your cart disappears in cyberspace. Like, make it fun. Make your texts personal. Don't make them boring. Flash sale. Click here. Add some personality. Add some, how's your long weekend? 15% um, off. You know, hey, just thinking about you. Want you to know that we think you deserve some new shades. So peep these stunners. Really cool. So think about personality. Have some fun with it. Be personal. Make it funny. Make it entertaining about your product. It's really key. Be concise. Add value and personalize it. You know, those are just some simple tips. Make sure you throw these in for abandoned carts for sure. Now you don't need to just send one. You know, a lot of people just set up one abandoned cart and one text. You need to set up multiple. So just keep following up through that. Pixels and tracking, hopefully you guys have that set up, but that's how we can start setting up these retargeting ads. Anyone that visits the landing page or the Shopify site, we need to remind them. Now this is key, get those pixels set up with Google Tag Manager. Um, if you guys think anything's broken or maybe not set up properly, reach out to my team. They'll set it up properly for you. So we're tracking everything. But the key is the retargeting. You really don't need to spend much. A lot of you guys spend just 500 a month on retargeting. So we want to be retargeting with Google Pmax ads. So they see you everywhere on Google, Gmail, YouTube, uh, display, other, your competitor websites. You need to be retargeting on YouTube, at least have one video out there. So now they're seeing you on Google and YouTube and they can watch your video. You need to be retargeting on Facebook and Instagram and, of, and TikTok if you guys are on TikTok. But really what we want them to see is what they had in their cart. As soon as they hit that cart page, we want to reshow that product in their feed so they remember to come back and buy. Super key there. Um, and it's just a low cost way to follow up. Videos, we need to have at least one personal style video somewhere, whether it's on the landing page, the sales page after they fill out the coupon code on your website, um, or even on your product pages. I think videos on the product pages are most important. High quality images and a good video. And the key is relationships. How can we build better relationships with these people? It needs to be your story, the founder story. It needs to be why your product is superior, why your product's better, maybe use cases of your product, how this product will fit in your life. You know, show examples of other people like them watching the video. But these videos we want to have on YouTube, we need on the website, and we need to use as retargeting. Super, super important, guys. If you don't have a video, make one. Find someone on Fiverr. Uh, we, we have an affiliate with Fiverr where we can go there. You can get a spokesperson. You can send someone your product so they can demo it for you. They can edit your video if you want to do it personal video. Um, just go there and get one good video showing why your product's better, why it's different, and how somebody could use it. Now, I know we, when we set up these um, pages, a lot of them are, we include the average order value upsells, so you can increase the upsells, the add-on products. But what's really key now is some of these softwares allow you to do an upsell after they purchase. So once they purchase, they can upsell and come back and add another product on. That's really key there. You can do bundles, upsells and cross-sells, and loyalty programs. So how can we increase that average order value? That is super key there. All right, affiliates. Now this is what a lot of you may not already have. So we wanna talk about affiliates and reviews. So the affiliates are key because after they become a customer and purchase something, we need to immediately send them to an affiliate signup page. How can I become an affiliate with you? If I love your product, if I'm excited about your product, if I'm buying your product, it probably means I'm excited to buy your product. So at that point, you need to say, hey, why don't you join our affiliate program? We purchased and resold an e-commerce store that had an awesome affiliate program, over 16,000 affiliates sending thousands of dollars a day back to the store because they used the product and they, were, they felt like they were influencers, so they recommended the product whenever they wore it. So how can you set up an affiliate program for your business where they can sign up, recommend your product to their friends and family, and maybe you'll get some influencers on there to actually you know, share it on their social media. Really key there, incentivize them, make it easy for them to sign up as soon as they purchase, set up an automated email to go out to them, 
and provide some support. Better support for your affiliates is key because you can give them extra coupon codes. You can give them more incentives to re refer this. Now we are getting multiple sales from one customer. That's how you can really increase your business and scale your business. Last but not least, you all forget about these. Ask for reviews. There's so many plugins and softwares you can use. Testimonial.2, um, look on Shopify App Store. But as soon as they buy this product, add them to a review request. And what we want to do is we want to make sure we ask them to leave a review on the exact product they purchased. Why? Because then that review will show up in their Google shopping feed. Now you look better than your competitors. Most of your competitors don't have this. So we have the review form and you can send it out. Think about you want to show some empathy towards your customers. Don't ask for a review the next day if it's not even shipped yet. Think about when they get their product and when you think they'll use it. If it's 15 days after purchase, you think they've already received it and they have like one or two days to use it, then ask them for the review. If it's 45 days, do it then. If it's two months, do it then. But think about when your customers will actually receive it and then when they'll use it and then immediately ask them to leave you a review. Timing, ease of use, and incentivize them. Give them another coupon code if they leave you a review or even better, ask for a review and if they leave you a video review with a picture or a picture, give them a coupon code if they do that. That will show social proof. You can then use that to share on your social media. So, all right, that's it. Um, we'll get to answering your guys' questions next. I see them coming in over here. So um, hopefully that brought you a ton of value. The next video we'll do is on the marketing. So make sure you join that mastermind um, class in just a few weeks and we'll make sure we send you guys the invite. But until then, implement these and um let's see let's see you scale to these numbers if you're not already there i know a lot of you are already there monthly but let's try to get there increase aov roas and profit of course and if you guys are new to my channel comment new and i'll send you this full guide that we'll review today this full guide just breaks down every single flow in the e-commerce funnel that you can implement into your business